I'm Manju. Welcome to Sharing Cooking Secrets. Today, I want to show you how to make a pineapple upside down cake, which will be eggless. And this is my version. I hope you like it. So for the pineapple upside down cake, we first have to get our tin ready. I've got an aluminium tin here, which is about eight inches. You can use a little smaller, seven and a half, eight inches is good, and two inches in height. So first of all, I want to grease the tin. So I've just got some uh, melted butter here, and I'm just going to grease the tin like this. Now this is my version of doing the pineapple upside down cake, and um, it's a sure shot winner. And I've made it very simple for you as well, so you won't have any problems in getting the sponge out once it's ready, okay? So grease this quite liberally. And I have got this butter paper which I've cut to the same size as the base of the tin. So we'll just place that at the bottom, like this. And for the sides, I've cut it out as well. So we'll just place this. And again, this is the trick. Okay, this is the secret. So you need to brush this with a generous coating of butter and on the sides as well, but more so at the bottom. You need to put a good quantity at the bottom. So your tin should look like this. So I have my pineapples, which I'm going to cut in half like this. And I'm going to arrange them around the tin like this. And I'm going to put one in the center like this. And then we have our cherries. And I've de-seeded them. And I'm just going to arrange the cherries like this. Right? So I like um, extra cherries. So I'm going to put a few more. So this is how your pineapple upside down cake should look like in the beginning. Now the second part is melting the sugar. So I've just got normal sugar here and I'm taking about five tablespoonfuls. And I'm not adding anything to this. So we just want to melt this. So start off with a high heat and then once the sugar starts melting, you can just lower the heat down a bit. So you can see the sugar started to melt. So once the sugar is melted, and it's a nice golden color we'll know it's ready you see this now the sugar is all melted and it's nice golden color we just want to pour this over the pineapples like this now we'll prepare the batter now i'm going to put one quarter cups of flour so this is one cup and one fourth cup. Two tablespoons of powdered sugar and our important ingredients, baking powder and our soda bicarbonate because we're not using eggs, these are very important. So baking powder will be one teaspoon. So always measure like this and half a teaspoon of soda bicarbonate, like this. I'll just sift this through. And now we'll add our condensed milk. This is sweetened condensed milk, 200 ml, and 100 grams of soft butter, okay? Now I'm going to put half a cup of water in this. And in the water, I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla essence. I always like to put the vanilla essence in the water and um, one magic ingredient, secret, a teaspoon or one and a half teaspoons of lemon juice. The acid part of the lemon juice reacts with the baking powder and soda, it makes your cake rise really beautifully. So we'll just add this. Now again, please make sure you haven't forgotten an ingredient. And we're just going to beat this. So I just, before putting it on, I just mix it a little bit. Otherwise the flour and everything will go all over the place. 
and just start on a low speed. And as I always do, I'm going to clean the sides once, so I have a nice uniform batter. We don't want to overbeat the batter, so once you see that it's become a little lighter, it's become fluffy and everything's mixed up properly, you know it's ready. If there are any lumps, just check, make sure there are no lumps in anything and you know it's ready, okay? So, let me show you the consistency of the batter. Sometimes you may need to add extra water. So first of all, I just check. See, it, it may be a little tight. So in that case, I can add a, a little bit more water, but never add water like this. Always put it in the cup, in a smaller cup or something. And maybe a tablespoon more I might require. So, I think that's fine. So, can you see that now? It's like falling very easily. So, we know it's done now. We're going to put the batter over the pineapples like this. Now, we need to tap the tin and level the tin like this, a bit gently. You can also use an offset bent palette knife to level it. Do this about 15-20 times. Now we'll put this in the oven. My oven is preheated to 180 degrees and we're going to bake this for about 35 minutes and um, until the sides start leaving. Let's put this in the oven. I always put my cake on the middle shelf like this and it's on bake. That means only the bottom grill is working, not the top. Our cake is ready, so let's check with the tester or you can test with a toothpick. So we'll place this in the center, put it all the way down and take it out. If it comes clean, you know it's ready. In case it's, it's not ready, you can bake it for another few more minutes. Now pineapple upside down cake needs to be taken out immediately, otherwise it sometimes sticks. So uh, I'm going to take my wire rack and I'm going to place it upside down like this and one hand here on the top, one hand at the bottom and I'm just going to flip this over like this. So just remove the paper from here. So now we want to cool this cake down but you can serve this hot. This cake hot is so delicious. Serve it with vanilla ice cream. It'll be fantastic. If you want to cool it down, all you do is just take your tin and just cool it, put this over it again. So let's cut this beauty. So should I taste this for you? Can you believe this is eggless?